Rocking with PettyBlog.com. It's your boy, Snoop D O Double G, and you are now watching the Petty Blog. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> oh my God, it just hit me. <laughs> petty and T. I, 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 I was so dumb. <laughs> so they already know that I'm dropping the T. So let's get right into it. As many of you may or may not know, Krishan's nephew, Tristan, made some very serious allegations against his auntie Tzatziki, whose real name is Latifa, months back. And honestly, people did not believe him. They thought that he was clout chasing and lying, but come to find out it's true as Krishan herself confirmed it. And he actually told the story many, many times before on social media, even though he got laughed at for it from folks thinking that he was delusionally making it up, but he's told the story the same exact way every single time. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck going on. I'm just like, bro, this is weird. It felt weird. So I'm like, this is wrong. Plus, let's face it. If he wants to chase clout about being Krishan's nephew, he don't got to make a story up. All he got to do is say I'm her nephew and people will follow him. Facts. Plus, let's be very clear. He doesn't even follow Krishan or Tzatziki because of what happened to him in his past. You know, the trauma to the point that he doesn't even know how to pronounce Tzatziki because her real name is Latifa. Latifa? Tzatziki? He don't even know it. Okay. And get this, he didn't just expose his Aunt Latifa. It seemed like that because she was the one on the come up at the time, but he also exposed his other two aunties and the rabbit hole goes deeper because it was also two of his uncles. It was her, her sister, her other sister, and two of her brothers. Man, mm-mm-mm. So it was five people total that was responsible for his trauma, three of his aunties and two of his uncles, all of whom are his mother's siblings who were allegedly doing him dirty from the age of seven to about 10. And he even recollects some stuff from about the age 11 to 12 as it continued. In this time, he came back with some serious details, some of the craziest details that we've ever heard. And it's being brought back up because Krishan confirmed that yes, Latifa, AKA Tzatziki was doing those things to him and not only to their nephew, but also to her. Then you most my other nephew, like she, she did some weird shit to Tristan, like. She was a fast individual, bro. She, ask her, ask her about when she wanted to play house. Did, what, no, no, cause she acting like muckers ain't really trying to touch me. Wow. But she did say that she'd been forgave her years and years ago, but it's really the underlying reason why she really doesn't F with her. We don't like each other because our childhood, bro. Now mind you, their nephew is four years older than Krishan and a few years younger than Latifa. He's 27 and Latifa is in her 30s. Her exact age is unknown as she supposedly might have took a few years off of her real age as an industry age. The nephew has no idea how old she really is, but he vividly remembers all the things that her and her siblings did to him when they were younger. And he knows for a fact that Krishan, who was only three at the time, had nothing to do with any of it. And he also confirmed that his grandparents did nothing to him. They actually had no idea and were oblivious to what their kids were doing. So who knows where they even got it from? That's crazy. Even his mother didn't know as she didn't live there and he was staying with her family, but it was the kids, you know, who were preteens and teens doing this to him. And with that said, we want to send him lots of prayers because the things that he described are gruesome. So we have censored it as much as humanly possible, but we still wanted to share his story with you guys because we wanted him to be heard and we wanted it to come from his mouth because for one, it's his story to be told. And also so many people have been through the same thing, but are not as courageous as him to talk about it. And not only that but so many kids are literally going through similar things as we speak but are too afraid to tell someone because they might not want to break their parents hearts or maybe they told someone and they didn't believe them so they're just stuck with this unspeakable trauma with no one to turn to which will just turn into mental issues in the future unfortunately what do you do when the people who are doing this to you is your very own family like who do you turn to what's the process is there a guideline for it how do you escape it like what it's sick and can leave you completely speechless and things like this are exactly why a lot of people opt out of bringing kids into the sick world because like if you can't trust your own flesh and blood then who can you trust now this is the one thing that Tzatziki does not address because as Krishan and the nephew says there's no way to lie about it or make an excuse for it but she did address it subliminally as soon as it resurfaced and here's what she wrote not to keep going or disrespect nor question God but why do God think I'm this strong crying now, mind you, she was a kid when this happened, so some feel like the nephew should let it go because she was too young and her mind wasn't right. 
But the fact is, he still had to experience it from her and her siblings. So yeah. And here's what he just wrote. I'm not here to make y'all believe. I'm here to teach how wicked times is now. Again, our thoughts go out to him, Krishan, and anybody who goes through or may have gone through anything similar because no innocent child deserves that kind of lifetime trauma. What y'all are about to learn is that half of the people in this family ain't right. And we do recall a few weeks ago, Blue mentioned that he did not want his son around Krishan's family for this very reason. And we have cleaned up and censored what he said, but we still want to put a little trigger warning, okay? Three steps. And y'all just laughed at me, bro. Latifa, Kashika. Yeah, um, suck it a few just to clean the shower because she's too bougie to clean anything. Yeah, like you want to talk show? You don't have to talk about me though. You don't. Go, you really you don't. Man. You don't. So you don't have to talk to me. You're my sister. You don't. You, you we don't. don't. Really? I don't even know what's up with her. Like she's trying so hard. Too hard. Too hard. And keep I, lying. I don't even Let them keep going. They gonna die down. They're hype gonna die down. It's not even that. Why won't you worry about your son and the people that missed it, your son? Like, what? Like, you keep saying shit. Then you miss my other nephew. Like, she she did some weird shit to Tristan. Like, you want to keep airing people out and lying? I'm not lying. I air the truth. Oh, what are you talking no, about? Man, she's weird, bro. She got shit under the curtains that she'll never speak about. First of all, that shit all fake, all weird. You see your opportunity and you're taking it. Go ahead, take it. You wanna be in my world talking about me so bad. I don't give a f about you and what you do and none of that. Leave me alone. The f and the nigga you with. He used to be with Chastity, my big sister. Tareen. Tareen. Tell her, tell the truth. Like, come on, yo. Like, nobody wanna talk about your, your, your skeletons in your closet, but that's what's happening because you wanna lie on my name. Like, you don't have to lie on my name. You're being weird. Leave me alone. What the hell? Y'all is pissing me off. I go to sleep like a couple hours. I wake up, she's lying. They, everybody want to act like, I want to be honest. I don't have a real relationship with my sister because when I realized when I got older, she didn't really for me too. When we was kids. She was a fast individual, bro. Ask her, ask her about when she wanted to play house. Did, what, no, because she acting like mother ain't really trying to touch me. Like, we don't like each other because our childhood, bro. Don't bring, don't be making shit up. Like, yeah, we forgive you and all this other shit. We don't talk about what happened. And, and, and now you're trying to like make it seem like something really happened, something really was going on. First of all, that's all TV. But. If we would be honest, I forgave you, Latifah, for a lot of shit and still forgive you. Just keep my name out your mouth, my nigga. Yeah, I don't care if y'all ask questions no more, man. Fuck it. They want to play, we're going to play together. Yeah, man. Whew. I'm going to smoke a weed all day. D-Y-F, what the fuck is that? Hope you're doing well, always. No, I don't be kidding. I know all of Suntley. <laughs> I know all of Suntley. So everybody get in touch now. All of Suntley. That shit's funny. I was, I was just sitting back watching. How old were you and how old was Eva? Shout, I know I was like seven. I don't know in the nose how old they were. I know for a fact it was happening to me from seven to nine. Two years strong. That shit was crazy. When me and Rock gonna do a song. Whenever she ready, shit. Whenever she ready. I'm waiting on mama. You know, she just had a baby and all that. Y'all gotta give her time. She's going through some shit right now. I know how that shit is. I just have a kid. I ain't worrying about making no song with nobody right now. They breaking the internet. No, they breaking. They breaking bonds. Not the internet. I'm going to say bonds. The internet is the internet. You can break that shit off anything these days. You don't got to degrade yourself or your child. Family bonds, yep. See, family bonds and then it's beyond that. Because then look at look at what's going on with the family. Look at what's going on. Ain't no love being shown or nothing. It's still constantly beef, 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 beef. 
So yeah, of course it's fucking up bonds with the family. Ain't no love being shown. Nobody helping each other, nobody doing shit. See, look, they used to play house with her too. Man, why she ain't been till that? Why she wait till now? <laughs> All of a sudden, that's why I don't be saying nothing. Let me sit back chilling. All of a sudden, they play house with me. Now, everybody got house played with them. I ain't mad. I don't condone it for nobody. I ain't tripping. I'm just saying, damn. That's just a little weird to me. Yeah, anytime I talk about it, it always get ignored. I told y'all this. I warned y'all this about the first live I got on. I said, shorty, they throw my type shit under the rug, nigga. <laughs> they, they throw my shit under. They don't care about my shit. Y'all ain't learning yet. It's sad because this is the same shit that happened just between us and the family. They just throw it under the rug. Even when niggas get famous, they still throw my ass under the rug. <laughs> that shit crazy. I be like, damn, nigga. What the fuck I do to y'all? Krishan. When they say Krishan, way younger than you, high, trying to imply she lying, but want people to believe you. I ain't implying she lying. And I ain't even talking about Krishan. You know how many people all of a sudden coming out with stories they been posted, came out, went with it, happened to them. Why y'all wait till cameras get on for y'all to admit that shit? I admitted it to y'all before the cameras and after the cameras. Why y'all wait till when the camera cut on to all of a sudden, oh, it happened to me too. That you tripping. I put that shit out there as soon as it happened to me. Fuckers, you talking about? I was like, man, these niggas is gay. I don't like it. Family ain't shit. Get me the fuck up out. I ran away. I ran away. That motherfuckers tried to give me press charges on them all that. I said, no, nah, because that's family. You feel me? Even though they some sick motherfuckers, I still said no. What the fuck is y'all talking about? They some sick ass niggas and I still said no. I ain't press no charges on my folks. I ain't no, I don't like police, period. That's just a city thing. So, hell no. <sighs> yeah, I doubt Krishan be lying either because our family fed up, bro. Anything could have happened. I ain't even gonna sit here and bullshit y'all. It's a lot of shit, but it just said, why all of a sudden are you saying it now? Why not tell us back then? You could have avoided a lot of shit with a lot of other family members. You feel me? But. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, nobody gonna say nothing because they know that shit true that happened to me. That shit ain't fake. Man. They know that shit true. Why she introduced Tifa to the world? Why now? That's what I'm saying. You feel me? But... I look at it like it's a family thing. She don't want to degrade her family. Just like I, I didn't want to degrade my family. When I told my story, I snitched on my folks to my folks. I didn't go tell the internet and then I went straight to my family. Like, man, look, them niggas ain't right. They over that bitch touching and doing some weird I went to my folks, <laughs> like straight up. This aren't now facts, trying to be smart. Stop y'all with the jealousy there is. Ain't no jealousy. Yeah, everybody don't handle them things the same. Rock is hurting so she could nose her baby in the hospital. Facts. That's what I'm saying. Leave that girl alone, man. Leave that girl alone. She's going through some shit. Let her handle some business and all that. I've been told you that. When she ready, she's going to come out. She's going to let y'all know. How old was Tifa? <laughs> See, y'all got to stop asking me that how old was she. Because only thing I was focused on at the time when that shit was happening was me. Bro, I ain't even know my own aunts and uncles' birthdays. Nothing, my nigga, because how the shit was so fucked up, bro. I didn't care about their birthdays or none of that, bro. I didn't care about that shit. So I, I ain't going to sit here. When you get go through some shit with your folks like that, I doubt you try to remember their age or even them. I try to forget these motherfuckers. I block them out my head and shit. Then all of a sudden, they motherfuckers famous and come right back. <laughs> like that shit come right back. That shit crazy. I'm 27. I look old as in the face, don't I? Don't judge me. 
Yeah, when shit like that happened to you and trauma and shit, you be trying to block the person out your head that did it. Yeah, they, man, they knew what the f*** they was doing, bro. It, it, it was too wild for them not to know what y'all doing, bro. How do you not know you less than and doing something constantly? That's not no one-time thing. Oh, touch me one time and we'll say, Shh, nah, nigga, this happened for two years straight. Two years straight. So how the f*** you don't know no better? And you doing something for two years, nigga? Probably over two years. I'm so f***ed up, I just say two years. <laughs> like for real shit. They know they was wrong. That's why they don't want you to say anything. I don't think Rock Lion see it all in their face. Yeah, hey, ain't nothing to lie about no shit like that. Well, hope she not lying, because that's not... Nigga, I don't lie about shit like that. I kept in a hundo off the break. I ain't give a fuck. Fuck them motherfuckers. Y'all niggas was sick. Y'all tried to get me. I wasn't going for that shit. Yeah, they was old enough to know what the fuck was going on, man. For y'all to constantly do it. And then y'all gotta look at the details what the fuck these folks was doing, bro. This ain't no shit a kid can just do, bro. I doubt a kid know about sexual intercourse like that, bro. Like an adult. I doubt a kid can less than do the things they did as that age, bro. Like somebody had to teach them that shit. Or they was watching pornos or something, bro. They was smart enough to know that. And yeah, they knew what the fuck they was doing, bro. <sighs> The, the adults do things they kids, they start thinking it's normal on this cycle. Yeah, facts. Facts. This world fucked up, though, bro. Y'all ain't peeped this yet? <laughs> I'm about to say, this world is fucked up. <coughs> that shit work. It's, it get wicked. But I'm just saying, all of a sudden, I just tell my story. And now, everybody got a story now. That's what I'm just tripping off of. That's what I said, what's going on? You said Latifah, Obadiah, Tessa, Chastity, and Eugene. Yep. Yep, you forgot. Yep. They forgot to mention, though, when that shit happened to you for like two, three years, that shit getting bitten in your head. That's what they forgot at. They said people get backflash, people. See, how can y'all say it's bullshit, though? Because you never know, bro. I broke away from the motherfuckers. I ran away. I got the f out of there. So after I ran away, I don't know what the was going down there. Probably happened, bro. The people were sick. They probably was like, damn, we lost one light skin. Let's get the other one. I don't know, bro. They sick to me. I, <laughs> I don't know. Thank God you know the difference and you're not gay, just your state effects. Yeah, no, no, that wasn't ain't one of my life. That wasn't my life at all. Rock only 23, so you 27. You have to look at it this way, Tristan Way. Look at what? Rock wasn't the one doing the activity. So what I got to look at her age for? Look at her older brothers and sisters. They the ones that was doing it. And then tell me, look at something. I don't get it. You confuse me on that one. You can tell Rock been holding it in for a long time. Tifa never denied that she quiet. She addresses baddies drama, but not family section. Yeah, they can't deny that because she going to have to figure out a lie to justify that shit. Like, how can you justify you less than people? You want to come up with some crazy shit? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. How can you justify something like that? That's some sick shit. Yeah, people still be using my story, though. That's that's the other thing I don't like about people. Y'all claim y'all for nigga, y'all do this, y'all do this, but y'all don't. I don't know, bro. I don't even know no more. I just sit back and just watch now. You said go to Dr. Phil, bro. <laughs> Shit, I play Dr. Phil these days, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. I be trying to help everybody out. The people I run across, I help them out with a lot of knowledge. Yeah, by the time I left, they probably still was doing that shit, so I don't know. I believe it. That's why China and Rock move for, for away from where We always dip from the motherfuckers. No, I ain't mad at Rock. It's more than that, bro. Y'all ain't looking at the internet right now. All of a sudden, everybody got touched now. Y'all keep bringing up my Aunt Rock, leave her out of it. I'm talking about factors. Everybody in the industry using that touching shit now, all of a sudden. I ain't saying they ain't been touching. I'm just saying, why the fuck? Y'all ain't doing it the right way. But I ain't, like y'all said earlier, some people don't know how to coop that shit right. Because as soon as it happened to me, I instantly came out with it. I did not like it at all. I wasn't with it. I wasn't cool with it. So the first day I got free, I was like, ah, help. Now look, <laughs> you feel me? And I was a child. Knowing that it wasn't right. I wasn't confused, nothing. I was like, this ain't right. I knew what the fuck time it was, my nigga. 
That's why I've been so good at what, a lot of shit I do. Like, I'm a beast at shit I do now because my head always work right. And since I was a kid, that shit was telling me this ain't right. But I'm not the type to get a guy wait till I'm famous to tell the story. Been the fuck out, nigga. It been out before y'all even knew me. Before y'all knew rock, this story been out. Motherfuckers just ain't do shit about it. I chose not to do shit about it, to be honest. With the police shit, I'm not no rat. First of all, I don't like police. Second of all, and third of all, shit deep when it's family, man. These ain't no niggas on the streets, so you can't just go, you know. Everybody getting touched all of something. Everybody. Oh, man, look up. Look up that shit. Say people admitting to being touched. Watch how many niggas pop up all of something now. I'm, hey, if I'm helping people come up with their story, I'm proud. But if I'm, y'all just using me as bait to get y'all little views up and shit, that's just crazy. No, y'all keep saying talking about her. Y'all want to talk about her. I pimp my comment because it's my comment. What the hell? I can't pin my comment. <laughs> Damn, what am I supposed to just just say it? Hold it in. She was so mad. And let's see if we can. That it came up. Yeah, they never get into details with my story. If I tell you my story, this shit a fucking life up. You know what these sick markers used to do, bro? Let me give y'all a little example. Imagine saying, no, you don't want to get touched and shit. You don't want to get messed in and all that. And they throw you in the basement with some pit bulls and let them bite on you and shit. Like some Mike Tyson shit. Imagine that. Like real shit. Imagine me and Mike Tyson having like a similar ass story. But my shit came from family. Ain't that some crazy shit? Oh, it's deep in the festivity, nigga. I was getting tortured. Ain't less than what y'all talking about. It ain't just nigga was getting touched. That's what y'all feel bad. Ain't nigga just getting touched. Nigga, I was getting tortured. You ever used to have hot sauce on your face, throwing all in your eyes and shit because you want to go to sleep early? Muggers get to throwing you off a high ass bed on your fucking head. You could have got a brain aneurysm, all that shit. They don't give a f. Yeah, they tripping. He's talking about being just touched. That's why my story better than everybody's. That's why my story more powerful than everybody's because it's big as shit. It's a big ass story, man. This ain't no little ass. Oh, he just got touched. No, nah, nigga, this shit big as shit. Like, Picture two, three years strong. Long ass story. Nigga, you know that shit big. Shit like a fucking movie. Rock did mention it was a lot of abuse going on. The yeah, a lot of abuse. It's beyond abuse, nigga. It was psychopath shit. Where were the adults? The adults. Wasn't that many adults. It was just literally my grandmother and her husband. The older siblings wasn't even living with us like that for real. If they was, they wasn't. They wasn't giving a fuck. Yeah, we don't lie about shit like that. Ain't no reason to lie. I'm sorry you went through all that. No, y'all ain't got to say sorry to me. Why y'all keep saying sorry to me? Say sorry to them people, fat, and to live with doing shit like that. Yeah, sorry you went through that. It's all right. No, it's good. I'm trying to tell you. Where was my mom at? She was she was trying to get us back, nigga. She was fighting to get us back. She lost her kid because she got locked up. She was fighting to get us back. She ain't know what the fuck was going on. Every time my mother come over there, hold my mouth closed and shit until she left. And then hide me in the closet. Most likely I had like a black eye or some shit. You couldn't show my mother that shit. She would have curked. <laughs> Damn, no. Nah. She would have seen that shit. Damn, they probably would have got home, brothers and sisters. Seeing her child getting abused and less than torture. Hell no. Y'all literally just watched a video I didn't want to, but damn. Praying for you. Not. Shit, man, you straight, man. Look, like I said, don't feel sorry for me. I'm, I'm okay. Not fully, but down here, I'm alright. I'm okay. I ain't. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened to Rock when I left. I hauled ass the quick possible. I hauled ass. I'm, as soon as I got free, I got loose. I ain't look back. They gotta live with that facts. Facts, they definitely got a little there. Yeah, I even gave y'all the scoop and a lot of shit. What's up, banger? You hopped up right on time. Shit about to get the crucial. I know, but you're strong. A lot of men go through this. And don't speak on the shit. I'm about to speak on a lot of shit. I'm tired of waiting on the interview. Because if I keep waiting on that, they're going to throw it on the rug again. And more people going to come out. Oh, me too, me too, me too. 
Shit, man, look, fuck that. These motherfuckers were sick, and I don't know what Tashika got going on. She the, she the only one on the camera right now. Notice they ain't put Chastity and none of them on the camera right now. They ain't putting none of them other ones on camera. They got Tashika. Um, nah, they don't play around with my relationships. My brain fucked up, though. Like, I don't trust nobody. I overthink every situation. I'm about to let this shit out, though. On God, more you speak, more you hear from. No, I've been speaking on this shit. First of all, it's just these motherfuckers sick. Mom, I got my mom right there. What's up? They say you declined it. Yeah, no, we definitely about to, um, we definitely about to do some shit, though. God, definitely real. I'm the lot of that. Hey, hon. What's up? What's up? I'm loving your truck. <laughs> I told you. That truck nice says 2023, that's why. All that new shit it came with nice shit, but I don't trust it because I just peeped something in my little, in my, in my truck apart, the little mirror. Why the hell I seen like a little camera in my mirror? Now, I understand like a reverse camera and shit like that, but why is it a camera on my motherfucking car mirror, bro? And this shit don't got no buttons on there to show like 360 camera or in-car camera. But they got like a little mini camera and then they got that orange star shit. I don't trust that shit. That God is good. Hell yeah, my what the hell your shit is spinning? Yeah, yeah. Your shit spinning, man. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Me, I gotta fix this shit, because I don't know what the hell just happened. Hold on, let me remove you real quick and then I gotta put you back on that. Yeah, you had that right on time, because I was, uh, that must be God, because I was about to let that shit out. Y'all was about to hear it all, girl. Y'all would have been on this live crying and shit. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. Like, that'd be God. God be like, don't do it. Don't do it yet. Wait, brother. I'm trying. I said, the request, I'm waiting on a, she make this service because she's driving. What's up, y'all? I'm just strong for sharing your story. Hey, trust the whole We're going well, always. Yeah, I'm waiting on the hot back on, y'all. Oh, wow. Just trusting me. Yeah, just trusting me. OG trusting me. It's like, I'm fucking with you. Let's do this shit. OG trusting me. Yeah, I'm trying to wait for my mom hop in, bro. Let's see what you try. See, I don't be in Tashika and Kashan business. I'm being it. They got their own problems. Let me know where you're home, my so you can add on here. So, can you just... Your service, I don't know. They keep saying you're unable to join. This is Trista from the other day. What's up, Trista? Hey, y'all. Love y'all. Shit, much love to y'all, too, man. Everybody love us. We love them back. Even the ones y'all think we don't acknowledge, God gonna show, you, show us y'all eventually. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, my mom, my heart, nigga. I don't play about my mother, nigga. Like, I'm a true definition of mama's boy, bro. But not no... Not no soft ass mama's boy, like one of them niggas that uh, lose a girl because he, uh, mommy, mommy. No, I'm a mama's boy. Anybody, I will die for that lady. Y'all got me fucked up. Anybody cross her, it's over with. They know what time it is. Good job. That's speaking up. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna remove this comment off the pen because y'all looking at it wrong as hell. Y'all keep trying to put that shit on my aunt. Leave Krishan out of my story, bro. She didn't do no mustivity. She wasn't around me when I was getting money. She was too young to even notice what the fuck going on. She was there, she just was too young. So leave her out of my story. Ask the older ones, ask the ones that knew what the fuck was going on, that still remember. They act like they don't remember, but still remember. Them niggas know what the fuck happened. So, and they ignored you. Yeah, they always ignore me, nigga. They don't want me to get up there. I get up there, it's over with. What the fuck is y'all talking about? It's over with. I've been doing this, this music shit for one, then for two. I ain't, ain't nobody playing with my top. What the fuck is you talking about? Y'all gonna have to kill me. No, <laughs> the fuck is wrong with y'all? Nobody gonna take no money from me. Nothing, bro. You tripping. Niggas like us, they the industry scared of. I'm like another DMX and shit. Y'all got me fucked up. I'm exposing you, motherfucker. Always. Everybody got hate train. Well, what is it to hate about people telling a story? That's what I'm not getting with y'all, bro. That's just like, look at it as if, if it's y'all folks, bro. And they come out and be like, oh, 
Oh, he got molested. What you gonna think your own folks lying? What you gonna deny your own folks too? Y'all gotta look at shit like that. No, I never go against Kashawn, nobody. I don't go against people that didn't do nothing to me. They didn't. Krishan didn't do nothing to me, bro. Look, my mom, awesome as hell. She never apologized in life. Hell no, that girl ain't apologized. She told, she told my own mother in her face we was playing house. That's how you know she's sick, motherfucker. She denied the story, but told my mother, oh, we was just playing house. <laughs> like you still snitching on yourself. What the fuck you mean? <laughs> Right, no one gonna lie about being molested. It's beyond molested though, bro. I got tortured and molested, just as y'all keep forgetting about. This shit is beyond just a little boy getting touched. I was getting beat the fat out because I was telling people, no, don't touch me. Them niggas are forced to touch me, nigga. It was crazy. Ain't no normal shit, nigga. I'm because of that shit in my mind, but my heart is shit straight. You just saying Latifah. It was her sisters and brothers too, don't forget that. Don't just put it on the ones that got the camera staring at. That's the number point I don't like about y'all. Y'all put it on the motherfuckers that got the cameras on them. What about the ones that don't got the cameras on and possibly be doing this shit to more people? Fuck no, it wasn't just Tashika. It was her, her sister, her other sister, and two of her brothers. I got nine brothers and sisters. How old was Tifa? Do the math. Y'all do the math, nigga. Stop asking me about it. I don't know these people ages. I don't know their birthdays, nothing. I try to block them on my head. How I gotta keep repeating something y'all only know me cause of. How y'all know my story and only following my peoples for my story and they story, but y'all don't know the details about it. I don't get that. Don't do that shit. I don't try to get that. Y'all got a million videos with me across the internet saying part of my story and everything me exposing all the names and everything and y'all still constantly ask the same shit <laughs> like real shit but i'm on here for this that's what i hopped on here for i ain't, I ain't dropping no new songs nothing yet i already dropped my song go look up hush lord daddy it's already in the bio and all that but right now i'm on this type time i hopped on this specifically for this type shit i'm mad right now so every time i'm gonna look up i keep saying the same shit like my life, awesome. I'm living life awesome. I'm driving foreign shit. I'm driving the newest shit. I'm living good. I'm eating good. Fucking good. I'm just, damn, nigga, I sit and look at the internet and I be like, why, bro? <laughs> like, what the fuck? What the hell? They fuck me up if I said no. They me up if I threaten to tell. They me up if I try to run away. It's over with, nigga. What y'all talking about? My mother come over to try to see me, bring some money and visit. Cause she was fighting to get us back at the time. They hide me in the closet, nigga. No, I ain't upset because she don't mention me. I ain't not, I don't even know. I ain't even know she mentioned me. I thought she forgot all about what I know. I ain't even know she mentioned me. That's why so you know I'm being to they shit. I don't bother them people. Them people was crazy. They was wildin'. <laughs> I'll be like, fuck that. They was going bananas and now all of a sudden, everybody care about the story ain't that about a bit they was old enough to know how to do that shit <laughs> like, like what the fuck nigga i look at kids to this day and all i got kids they got my kids when i raised them they, when i raised my kids my nigga they didn't know about no shit like that so yeah yeah i don't know you gotta look at a lot of shit mom is live my mama live i tried dad and she hopped on her own i don't know y'all go hop I'm on her so for her shit. I'm about to. I'm on here for a reason. I'm about to let that shit out. You know what I'm they beat my ass to death. They fucking tortured me while I was asleep. They used to do some foul shit with animals. Niggas used to try to finger animals and all types of shit. Nigga, it was stuff. They even forced me to finger dogs and all types of shit. Like it was wild, bro. Cause it it was, you know, the game True for Dare, right? That's how fucked up my folks is. Y'all know about Truth or Dare, right? I hate that game to this day. I never played it again. Truth or Dare, my nigga. Day Truth or Dare is if you pick Dare, right? And they tell you something to do and you say no, they have beat the shit out of you. And if you say truth, they want to defile you, degrade you to make you pick Dare. And then I ain't. I already told y'all about the hot sauce and the pepper going in the nigga face every night. I try to go to fucking sleep. 
they fucked up all my shoes with ketchup mustard and all that shit. They poured inside my shit and all that normal prank shit. And then boom, that's activity shit start happening. And if I was to say no to them, they had bang the shot in my mouth, me up so bad to the point they had to hide me every time people came to visit me. They had to literally hide me and shit was real. Then I don't even want to mention to the dogs. The fucking dogs called me for life. They the ones got to me. That dog shit wasn't right. Nigga, imagine a dog biting your dick. Thank God I still got my dick. Nothing wrong with my dick. But imagine that. A dog biting your That shit hurt. I'm just letting up for y'all now. I know y'all gonna record. I know y'all gonna tell the shit anyway. But yeah, imagine that. Imagine these motherfuckers got chores to do. They mother and them do chores. And they telling you... They go do the chores for them and they help you, they pull your look out and you like, what the fuck? And they try to shove in the soft ass wee wee and all that, all inside their stuff just for entertainment, my name. Just cause they didn't want to do a chore. Like, I remember this one time, right? My grandmother told t fast to um, wash the um, bathroom. They being lazy, they didn't know they can control me. She could have just smacked me and told me to do it. I would have did it. But they wanted to be extra and weird with it. So she'd bring me in the bathroom and whip my joint out and try to grind on that shit and then try to suck it and all that shit and then tell me to clean the bathroom up. And then I tell they did that, bro, and they ignore me, bro. Then the next family they come to it. Next family, I was wondering why they was ignoring me about that shit to certain people I told in the house. That's because they was on the molestivity shit, too. They was on the same shit. They fucked me up with the Tesla one. The Tesla one fucked me up. And I thought shit was cool. I thought she was the big aunt. She gonna save a nigga. Now this bitch bought me in the back room, too. I said, God damn. All of them. All of them. Yeah, it get worse than that, nigga. Yeah, all my clothes, all my money took in. Nigga, I felt like I was getting literally, like, what's that shit that happened to niggas that go to prison that get beat the fuck out of and they they tell them niggas do whatever they say and they do it and they rape them and shit like that and it just be a blow in there. That's how I felt in my house with my family. I felt like I was their jail bit. Real shit. And I'm I was only seven years old. I felt like I was in jail, bitch. I got beat for everything. Everything. Thing. I couldn't even look a certain way. I couldn't even say I want to go home or I get smacked, nigga. Red shit. <laughs> you tripping. Uh, my face so bulletproof now. You better ask about me. I gotta have people rock my shit. And that shit ain't bruised up. People look crazy shit. Like, what the fuck? T for lying about the A's. Man, I don't know what the fuck the people lying about. What I know is, the truth is, <laughs> vaped up my nigga man I try to talk to my grandmother man she don't how can you explain to some woman her children some sickness and make her be okay with that y'all explain that how can you explain to some woman that love her kids dearly that would die for her children that her kids are some sick ass molesting torturous narcissistic slash mental unstable slash I don't even know. <laughs> like Jeffrey Dahmer without the killing slash people. How can you explain that to somebody when they expect them, they even respect it? That shit a crushing. I told my grandmother that, that shit a lot, man. I watch even just part of the story crush y'all. Watch her face change or watch tears build up all that. And it just make me not want to say nothing for real. I walk off. Man, they hear me out, but how, that hurt her more than it hurt me, probably, bro. Even though it happened to me, these are the people that came out of that woman. I can't explain that to somebody like that. No, it was it, uh, it was it was Tessa, my nigga. Tareen ain't do nothing. Tareen, she was a little slightly abusive. <laughs> Tareen was the fighter. She the one trying to beat everybody ass in the damn house. She I don't I don't know if she left anybody. She ain't left me. Yeah, ain't that weird? They ain't never put Chastity on camera or none of that. Even though she's me too, but they ain't never bring her out there. Yeah, I ain't trying to my grandma for no stress, bro. That shit probably took my nine out. That's why I be trying to chill. She got my aunt ex and all that. See, I ain't know all that. That's y'all telling me shit. I don't watch them now. Yeah, my aunt Terrain definitely a fighter. That that girl got hands. That girl definitely got some damn hands. I think that is sister that's in jail. Did my aunt chance to get locked up? Say I don't know what's going on in their life right now. I don't be around them. Mookie and Jay and are suffering. See? Shit crazy. I don't condone suffering on nobody. God do this shit. 
I ain't gonna sit here and say God wanna torture people either, because last time I checked, he forgive everybody. But y'all, all I keep saying is Latifa, Latifa, Latifa. She wasn't the only one, so don't just beat her down with it. She was part of it. Then they probably was messing her ass too. She probably just liked it. It's different, you know. Some kids, I don't know how to put it, but some people be fine with that shit. Some people get messing and think it's okay and then do it because i'm pretty sure i got this one flashback i'll be having bro and i remember seeing i'm pretty sure it was either uh, chastity or it was her but one of them they was making out with the other uncle and they was cool with it like it was like relationship in the family type shit it was weird shit bro i don't know if it was chastity or t but it was one of them though i remember they was i think they was fucking with my uncle mookie and they was kissing each other and all that shit and they they fucked a lot i think so if i'm clearly thinking back because i remember the room and everything I remember all that shit. So I think some people like cool with that shit, my nigga. Like they cool with it. Like what the shit? The world crazy, my nigga. I'm scared of shit for my kids right now, bro. Y'all just don't know. I'm scared of shit. I don't know what the fuck to do no more. I know for a fact my kid ain't being molested by a family. I can stop that, that one. <laughs> like real shit. It's your grandpa. I touch you. No, my granddad ain't touch me. He ain't touch me. Probably smacked, shot me a few times in there, but he ain't, he ain't never like must me or nothing. Hell no. It was like, it was the kids in the house, bro. I ain't gonna cap. It was literally my aunt's uncles. The parents was like zoned out. My grandma was always asleep. My granddad was always outside. Shit was wicked. Someone who oh, has a dog doing something? That's what I'm saying. Somebody has a dog had to. <coughs> Somebody did something. That's what I'm saying. Where did they learn it from? Y'all asking me questions that we trying to figure out. You feel me? Y'all asking questions that we trying to figure out. We trying to figure out. We the fuck? Why this happened? What the fuck happened before? And why is y'all bringing it up now and then lying about the shit? Lying about shit. Hold on, hold on. My fucking shit. Use my story. They get numbers up. Fuck type shit is that? From now on, y'all don't put my name in shit. <laughs> Unless I put your name in it. Only people I speak on should speak on me. If I don't speak on you, don't speak on me. Yeah, talking shit and all that. And I just found out even my aunt Kishon just put out there. She just put out there too. Mother, y'all all knew that shit was true. I'm trying to sit there and act like this because Kashawn said it. Oh, it's really true. Nigga, that shit's real. <laughs> that shit's real, bro. I don't defend abusers. I just understand reality. I understand the world a little more, not fully, just a little more. And these people, like I said, they probably condoned that shit, bro. They probably was fucked up in the head, was cool with that shit. Because even as they got older, they was real close. Real close. I can't be close to somebody that's doing some shit like that unless they liked it. If you liked it, then that's common sense. You're going to be fine with it. I had two of my uncles apologize to me. None of the girls did. Not one of the aunts did. Not one. Not one said, damn, damn nigga, I'm sorry. I was stuck in the head or... I don't know. Just, I'm sorry. Just, just, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Ain't no telling. On multiple times, these people sick. Yeah, that's life for you. Some people come close to the abusers. Yes, yes. Yeah. Everybody know unless there was five of them motherfuckers. It was three girls and two boys. For real. There, I just said it earlier. I even gave you a perfect story how my grandmother told her ass to wash the bathroom. And she ain't want to wash it. So she called me in the bathroom, whipped my dick out, tried for me, sucked it off, and told me to clean the bathroom for her. Yeah. Give, give us an example of how it affected me. Oh, shit. Imagine getting put out of all schools you go to. Imagine going to jail. I went to jail at the age of seven. I asked them. I broke in over 30 cars. You can even ask my grandmother, nigga. She the one came and got me. I went to, I got locked up at the age of seven from breaking in like 30 cars, nigga. That's what must everybody do to you. Make you grow up very quickly and start doing some sick, wild shit.
I never busted nobody, but I sure as hell beat the fuck out somebody. I did some other shit I can't mention on here. I just don't know. That's shit crazy. Grow up man. angry. Yeah, I grow up angry as fuck. Nigga, me and my mom, mom used to clash when I was a kid. <clears throat> because she was trying to figure out her son. She ain't know what the fuck they did to me. Y'all ain't got to say sorry to me, Nick. I appreciate y'all, though. Y'all ain't got to say sorry to me. They ain't stopping nothing. Y'all should say sorry. Y'all keep bringing this shit up, making me have to relive it. But y'all should say sorry for that. Your story could help others. I don't know how. This is a fucked up story, my nigga. The only thing y'all should help other people with is tell them, tell the truth. Stay away from motherfuckers that do some shit like that. And if y'all got a chance to help them, motherfuckers help them. Don't throw that shit on the rug. Always been relieved. This my whole life, girl. Shit. Y'all just don't know. I bet you so much fucked up shit. Imagine your uncle's forcing, forcing your little ass to suck dates. And if you said no, they'd beat the shit out you. Imagine that. Imagine your uncle's trying to fuck you in your ass. Imagine that. Imagine them, your uncle's even turning around trying to make you fuck them in the ass. Imagine that. That shit, get your head up. I'm trying to tell you, I don't play fair. Even when I went to jail and all that, I don't play fair, bro. You couldn't even touch me a certain way or nothing. Or I will go ape shit. Like, nigga, I'm trying to tell you. Y'all just don't know, bro. I'm thinking about that shit all the time, but I don't cry or nothing. Like, I'm so fucked up mentally and shit. I cry if I see a nigga give a homeless dude a dollar, but you can shoot me or stab me or some shit, which been done already. I won't even cry, bro. I look me like, damn, bro, I got big ass holes in me. Oh, shit. Nigga, I got a big ass hole. That shit hurt, but I won't cry. But I cry if I see, like, a dude being a father to his kid. Like, if I see a, a nigga walking with his daughter or something, and he making sure she's safe, crossing the street with her head and shit like that, that make me cry. Because that's is deep. I never had, like, a, a bond like that. So that shit fucked me up. I be, uh, I cry off some random shit. I look at a movie, and a nigga going to a house and tell his mother he love him, you know, or she, his mother tell him he love him and shit. And I be, I start crying off shit like that. But physical pain, you know, I don't drop tears for that. I don't drop tears for dead bodies, nothing. But I see a damn dog get saved from out the street. That's beautiful shit right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of people. I get real proud of people and I, I, I cry. Yeah, it definitely suck when your abusers his blood. That's what the family do first. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, we ain't lying about being abused and shit, bro. I'm not famous. I'm not, not nothing. I'm just a regular nigga telling y'all story because famous people brought my story up. That's all, all I'm here for. I'm just here to tell y'all a story that famous people brought up that I've been living with my whole damn life. I'm an Aries. That's the Aries shit. Shit don't phase me, nigga. It don't phase me, but I am, I ain't perfect though. I ain't gonna sit here and say, don't phase me. I can't keep a woman for shit. I fucking and don't tolerate certain shit. I, I over paranoid a lot. I think everybody out to get me sometime. Like, it comes with its kinks. It comes with its kinks. What helps you on your childhood trauma? Life. Life help with that. Going through life seeing shit, experiencing different shit, noticing it wasn't your fault, that shit helped a lot. Nah, I ain't mad at Christian for bringing it up. I ain't mad at mine at all. I've been boarded up, so why can't I get mad about something she's been boarded up? I've been boarded up. Yeah, Tia been my aunt. I met been my mom friend definitely over 20 years. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, so he believes by neighbors and all that shit. And all that, never thought about it in my therapy. He would try to bring up your jail history to blogs again what what jail history only jail history i got was a fake ass kidnapping 
a fake ass kidnapping that I beat when I was literally didn't even have a court date for. They didn't even give me a court date for that motherfucker. He just literally gave me a bill and just threw that shit under the rug too. That's what I said. Life is crazy. They threw my festivity under the rug. They fucking locked me up for a fake charge, throw that under the rug. They did some crazy shit to me. Life is wild, bro. That shit is wild. And they tried to say I kidnapped the girl I was in a relationship with for six years. <laughs> literally. And they said I kidnapped her while I was in the house with my daughter I had full custody of that literally was only about four or five years old. So what, man, my daughter, oh, this bitch just kidnapped them bitches? What the f***? This is wow. <laughs> this is what, yeah, life is wild, bro. That shit tatted right there. Nigga, life is fucking wild. That shit wild. I can be cool to my uncle to apologize, of course. Of course. If he know he was wrong for that and he know he, he's not, that wasn't right. Yeah, of course. Of course. It's family. But if he gonna sit there and just doing it because a camera on you and you saying sorry, I don't respect you, my nigga. When I'm actually grown now. We can go in the yard and fight and all that, bro. I ain't gonna bullshit you. Anytime. I've been telling us that we grown now. We step in that yard, get it off our chest. If y'all they want to do it that way too. I've been on that type time. <laughs> I've been on that. Since I passed the age of 20, nigga, I'm like, shit, I'm ready now. I used to tell them that when I was little too. Wait till I get older. Nigga. Wait till I get older. It's over with. <laughs> shit. I'm there. Everybody said, big, big Sean looking like, yeah, we used to big Sean T was like the only light skinned ones in the family for it. Other than my grandmother and shit and cousins yep single as a motherfucker i can't keep a girl for shit for mental problems no i thank y'all go next there my apology because they did it with no cameras around how y'all know how y'all know they did it with no cameras around last time i checked <laughs> i didn't even want to say nothing i ain't gonna expose their story but one I'm gonna wait until they literally got on camera or even went out there with my auntie and say sorry. First of all, somebody threatened to kill himself too. That's why they said sorry. Somebody threatened to kill himself. Let's put it that way. Let's get deep. Somebody tried to kill himself because they get they got tired of calling them mestas. They couldn't take the pain, but I can take being messed though. But you can't you can't take being called one. I don't get that. I don't get that at all. You can't take being called the best stuff, but then you're being molested. Supposed to just take it and be cool. Nah, my nigga. It's over with. Stop just throwing teeth up. It was literally five of them. Yeah, they wait till a nigga get old as fuck to finally believe me. It's about a bit. I'm old as shit now. When I was going through trauma as a kid, that's when y'all supposed to be asking me these questions. How is it impacting you now and this and that? Yeah, when I was a kid, when that was happening, nigga, I tried to myself. I used to break shit over my head a lot. I used to do a lot of shit, slam my head to the wall till it bust open. I done been pulled out of every school I went to. I've been locked up by cops in schools. All that, man, I was fucked up. That's when y'all should have been asking me the questions. But nobody kid, because nobody was famous. So I was just going through hell. Then I got older, took that shit like a G, my nigga. And I fell in love with guns. I think guns kept me alive, bro. Not even saying it on no, not trying to be gangster or nothing, shorty. Like, I got over six, seven guns tatted on me. I had a gun ever since I learned how to shoot one. I done had over multiple guns. And I like the sounds of them. I like the craftsmanship. I like how they shoot. I love this shit. That shit helped me a lot. That helped me personally. Y'all take me to the range. I forget I'm even on this sick ass earth. Only thing in front of me is that sight. Probably because it makes you feel protected, yeah. Something when you get busted and tortured, you'll you'll forget about God. You'll even start questioning that man, like, hold up, is it your fault? But that's when you get older and wiser and realize a lot of shit. You feel me? It ain't God fault at all. And that's that's what it's helped me with. Cleared my mind, slowed it down, was like chill. Focus on this. Gave me something to focus on. Gave me some, Something to put my mind on, like put it like this. I got a um, what's it called? A hobby. I gained a hobby. I found peace through this, man. I ain't go out here sh 
and they're at people. I ain't go out and killing anybody, nothing. I went to the range. Shit, I even just did in the room with one and just take it apart, clean it all day, and just try to buy attachments, make it look pretty, shit like that. Yeah, they keep trying to just pinpoint on teeth like all over the world. How do you feel the blue face treating Kershawn? Man, like I said, I don't speak on no nigga I don't know. I know at the end of the day, my aunt fucking with him, she fucking with him, that's her business. <laughs> I don't speak on other niggas, especially one I never met before. That man never spoke on me before either, so who am I to speak on him? Yeah, hey, look, that's y'all, hey, that's y'all opinion on that man. I don't, I don't speak on no other man. Yeah, I, I can't say my aunt deserved definitely being in a better situation, but like I said, I don't speak on this day shit. Yeah, always, and I don't speak on that. I leave that to the women. That's something women do. Women, they gossip, they do all that. I'm a grown ass man. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. I ain't trying to be real. I ain't trying to be just me. How I raise, we don't speak on niggas. Even our ops, we don't speak on our ops, nigga. If you're op, we handle that. We don't speak on it. What did Chastity do? <laughs> oh, y'all want Chastity? Now, her story a little longer and bigger. Because her story, and why I remember her so vividly, because hers kept constantly happening as I went past seven. That's what I'm saying. Now, seven all the way up to like nine, ten. I remember. Matter of fact, even this one time, when I was thinking I was like 11, 12, bro. Where the fuck were we at? I remember we was at one of the little Latifah boyfriend's houses. Latifah had a little boyfriend named Money. I used to with Latifah boyfriend, I think it was his little niece or cousin or something. I remember her. I used to try to fuck with her. She was a virgin and shit. So it took me and her a minute. One time, we finally got in the mood about the f We stand in the people's house. Chastity all was there. I was standing in the living room on the couch. I remember how this little girl, the girl was trying to the virgin joint. She walked in the room on me in a blanket naked. I'm talking about, you ready? What's up? You ready? So I'm like, hell yeah, what's up? We tried to do it, it ain't go right. You feel me? She a virgin, that shit was hurting her and all that shit, ain't go right. So the next day, boom, we was gonna try again, but my aunt, I guess, wanted to give the tips. Chastity wanted to give the girl tips on how to fuck me. This is the weird part about this, man. And this happened, like, when we was a little older. Man, Chastity literally bent over my neck on the bed, spread her ass apart and all that, and said, Tristan, come put it in me, show her how to fuck Come put it in me, right in front of the girl, right? The girl even looking confused, man. I swear, if she on this live and all that, she will even tell you, shorty. Money, Mike, Lord, niece, or cousin. If y'all on here, y'all remember. That bent over the tumble feet and show her how it's done. That's how you do it. Arch the ass, show her how to bend over everything, my nigga. My, but the girl I was trying to get was even looking at her crazy. Like, what the fuck? That's your family, ill. And she even left out the room. I couldn't even look at her, bro. I lost my virgin because of my aunt. Shit was wild, my nigga. Even the girl was looking like, what the fuck? And she ain't even bringing up to my folks. She ain't even, tell, well, she probably told her folks, but she ain't telling my folks. Yeah, a lot, a lot of shit. Like shit, with Chad Steve and with the garage, we was out Pasadena. I had a white girl named Brooke. It's like she always, Chad, Chad used to talk to me when I tried to get a girlfriend. Now, I was like seven, when we was like eight, seven years old. I was out on um, Pasadena. This little white girl named Brooke with glasses. She had blonde hair. I wanted her as bad as fuck. So, my aunt was like, all right, you want her? And she was a little older. That was, Brooke was Chastity and them friend. So I guess Chastity and them, see, I liked her and they felt some type of way. So Chastity brought me in the garage in my grandma garage, got on her knees, bent over, pulled my down shot, put it in her. And I ain't like that shit. I got up, we left out, she act like nothing happened. And then I guess she told Brooke something and Brooke just left me alone. Never seen Brooke again. Then another story with Chastity and you them. Know, I had another little girlfriend across the street. Except for this little girl was a little younger, and that's how sick my people's is. This about to get sick. This little ass girl, but I say uh, I had to be at least just five years old. I was like seven, so she had to be five because she was younger than me. But she knew how to talk though. But she ain't talk like a kid kid. She just, I mean, she ain't talk like an older kid. She talked like a straight kid. Like, hey, 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 like kid shit. So boom, long story short, my uncle Mookie, my aunt Chastity and Tifa and them, they took me across the street to her and shit. We used to chill over the house a lot. And I used to be like, that used to be my little kid crush. I had a crush on her. So why the fuck my 
punk was gonna take me and this little girl downstairs in the basement, bro. This little girl literally like five, I'm like seven. They pulled Mike out on her, bro, and told her to treat her like a hot dog and eat it. I'm like, that's crazy. A little five year old, bro. That little girl, bro, was only five, I was seven. And they was teaching that little girl how to suck my dick and shit at the age of five. So whoever that little white girl was, if y'all remember that shit out Pasadena, I'm sorry for that shit. That, that's crazy, bro. Our parents ain't even know what the fuck was going on.